Hi friends, welcome back to Azure Content YouTube channel. This is part 9 in SQL Real-Time Scenarios playlist. In this video, we are going to learn how to update the column by replacing part of the string in SQL Server. So let's see the requirement in details. So we have a table called file path table in our SQL database where we have two columns. One is ID and other one is value. So you can see the value column retains all the file paths for a particular file. But now what our requirement is, we have to update the value column by replacing the part of the string with empty string, which means we have to remove this part of the string. We have to remove one, two, three, and then backslash. So the file path should look like this. C drive backslash temp folder, then ABC folder, and then 111 folder. Okay, so it has basically removed 1, 2, 3 from the part of the file. Okay, so we have to update the column value and we have to remove the part of the string 1, 2, 3 backslash from all the rows. So let's see how to achieve this by writing SQL queries. So let me go to SSMS. So here I already have a table called file paths table and there are four records in it which carries the file paths for each of the IDs. Okay. So now what we need to do is we need to replace this part of the string for each of the columns by empty string. So basically we need to update the column. So we have learned in the previous video to update the column value in, in a SQL table. We have to write the syntax update and then the table name which is file paths table. Let me copy that and then we have to set the column value. So the column name is value. So I will write value equals to and then we have to write the value that we want to set here. Okay, but now we don't want to hard code any particular value for this uh, value column. Okay, so instead of that, what we need to do is we need to remove one, two, three and backslash from the value column in each of the records. So basically we need to replace this with empty string. So we will use replace function here. And if I open the braces here, you can see what we need to pass as an argument is. So the first parameter that we need to pass is the expression to be searched, then the search value and then the replacement expression. So uh, the first one will be nothing but the value column. So that's what we have to change. Okay, so this is the expression that needs to be searched. And then what is the search expression? So what is the string that we need to replace? So we need to replace. Let me give it in quotes. 1, 2, 3 and backslash. So this is what we need to replace and with which value we need to replace. So this, this is the replacement expression that we need to pass. So we don't need to replace it with anything. We have to just remove it. So we will give empty string. So it will be just two single quotes and there will be no value in it. So we have to replace it with empty string. So this is what is empty string. So now we have to run it for all the records. So we will not give any where clause here and we will simply run this particular query. So you can see now four rows have been affected and now if we query the select star now you can see for all the records one to three backslash has been removed and the file path has been updated with the required value and we achieved the desired output. So this is what our requirement was we had to replace this with empty string and we achieved it by using the replace function in update query. So this is very simple. You can also practice in your SQL hands-on. I will provide the uh, create table script and insert script in the description of this video. I hope you guys liked the video. Please hit on like button and please subscribe to my channel if you haven't done it yet. Thank you.